Hello friends, today I will show you how can we create a purchase requisition in SAP MMS for HANA. So what is purchase requisition? It is also called as PR. In short, we call it as PR. Many people are calling it as indent on, or the requirement as well. So what is PR? What is the use of PR? So PR is a purchase requisition is a internal purchasing document. So whoever required the material in an organization, they will have the access to create a purchase requisition. That means it is an internal purchasing document. So anybody, whoever are working in an organization, whether they are from MM department or uh, means from the procurement department or maybe from the finance department, sales department, quality department, HR department, any department, whoever required the material, they have to first raise a purchase requisition. So we will see how can we create a purchase requisition and we will submit and we can see how the purchase requisition number is generating in the system. So let's get into the system directly. Yeah. So as we know in SAP, we have a T code concept or the if you have if you are using Fury, then you will be able to see the description of the purchase requisition. Okay. So now if you want to create a purchase requisition, you have to use a transaction code ME51N. So just you enter this transaction code here, ME51N, and then press enter. Now you will, you will be able to see a purchase requisition screen. So this is where you can see your purchase requisition. Okay. How, how we will create now? See now. So when we start creating a purchase requisition, we have three screens here. You can see header, item overview, and item details. So these are the three screens we have in create purchase requisition screen. Now, let's start one by one. So first, we have the document types. This, this is a shopping cart. Shopping cart means what are you going to buy, right? So when you are going to buy anything, first of all, in SAP, when you are creating a purchase requisition, you have to select the document type. So if I click on this drop down, we will be able to see lot of document type it is created. So what is document type? Document type means when you are creating this purchase requisition, what type of requisition you are going to create? Whether you are creating it for domestic procurement or local procurement, raw material procurement, or for the import procurement, or for some specific uh, group of material procurement. So we can create or we can define the document type according to that. And NB is the standard purchase requisition document type. So if you want to create a new document type, you can copy from NB and you can create a new one. That is part of your purchase requisition configuration. So that we can see in our next videos. Now, let me show you how can we create a purchase requisition. So select the document type as NB. And if this is the header note, if you want to write something as a text, if you want to write something to the purchase department, like you need this material by next week or I need this material on an urgent basis. Uh, we will buy it. So please uh, buy and deliver it to some other plant. So like that, we can give some header note here. So that the purchase, uh, when the purchase re executive or purchase officer will create the purchase order with reference to this purchase requisition, he can see the note if you want to write. It is not mandatory, but if you want to write, you can write it. In the, this is the use of header text in purchase requisition. Now click on item overview. So when we are getting into item overview, here now you have to select the material for which material you want to create a purchase requisition, what material you need. So first of all, whatever the requirement you have, that material should be available in the system. So that will be created in your master data. So click on this drop down. If material is already created, if suppose material is not created, that means you don't know the material number. In that case, just you enter the short text. Along with that, you have to use this account assignment category. Okay. But now I'm showing you how can we create a purchase requisition with material. So now click on this drop down and select your plant because plants uh, materials are created at plant level. Sometimes you will not be able to see this plant tab here. So in that case, what you need to do? You have to click on this tab and you have to select it plant material by description. So once you'll click on this, this plant tab will, in, will be enabled here and you have to enter your plant code. So my plant code is 5555 or whatever plant you have created. 
So just you enter that plant code and click on continue. So once you'll click on continue, you will be able to see the material, whatever you have created within this plant. So these are the materials which are created. So I'll just select my material and then I will enter the quantity, how much I need. Okay. Then I will enter the delivery date. So I need on so-and-so date and I want it for this plant. And this is my purchasing group. Then press enter and you can see here it is asking for the requisitioner also. Who is the requisitioner? Means whoever is creating this purchase requisition. Suppose I am creating this purchase requisition because I have required the material. But sometimes you will get the option or sometimes your manager or somebody else will, your friend, maybe he's on leave, somebody else. So he can ask you to create the PR on behalf of them. So in that case, you can mention the requisitioner as on behalf of, okay. So for example, as I am creating it, so I'll just mention my name and then press enter. Whatever name you have, you can mention here. So now you can see the material name, material description, this unit of measurement, this material group is picking automatically from the master data, from the material master. So I have not entered manually here. Okay. Then now if you'll go to item details here, here you can see in the, in the material data tab, this is the material which is picking with the material group, whatever it is created in the material master with the description of the material. Then if you'll click on quantities, you can see these details. This is your delivery date, request date and release date, whatever you have mentioned here. Then if you'll click on valuation, you can see this is the price which is maintained here. So that's the reason it is appearing. If it will not maintain, it will be blank here. Okay. Then click on source of supply. If you know that I want this material from a particular vendor, I know that vendor then you can mention that fixed vendor name here because you are a requisitioner. So sometimes, you know, it, you will not be authorized to select the vendor because you are a requisitioner. You need the material from where it need to be by. It has to, it is depend on the purchase department. But if you know that there is a regular vendor and he is a good vendor and regularly we are buying it from that particular vendor, then you can select that fixed vendor here. Okay. And you can enter the purchase organization. Then click on status tab. So here you can see it is not blocked. Then if you click on contact person. So it is very much important here. Whenever you will be going for any interview, especially for MM, if any questions will come from purchase requisition, this will be your fixed question that how can you identify this purchase requisition has been created manually or automatically. So this is how you can understand or you can see. From the contact in the item details, from the contact person tab in crea.ind. means creation indicator. So you can identify from creation indicator tab whether it is created automatically or manually. So as we are creating it manually, so it is showing as manual. Okay. Remember this. Then click on text. Now, if you want to write any product specification, line item wise, for example, this is one line item which you need. And for this, what is the product specification you have for you are going to buy a Lenovo laptop to buy this Lenovo laptop? What is the product specification you have? What is the RAM you required? What is the hard disk you required? Which color you are, you are looking for? What is the size of the lid? So each and everything you can mention over here. So here you have to write your product specification. So I have just taken one line item. If suppose you want to add one more line item, then what you need to do? Same thing. Click on this. Click on this drop down, then enter your plant code. So what is your plant code? Whatever plant code you want, enter the plant code. And now suppose I want to buy this laptop, uh, this laptop, yeah. Then I need 50 quantity of this. And this, this is what I am expecting to deliver on 14th. And then just enter your, because I'm, I want to create it for the same plant. If suppose you want this material for some different plant, you can use different plant as well. Okay, and then now press enter. Now you can see second line item has added. So now when I have added second line item, that means you have to enter the second line item specification also. How will you do that? So this is what for the first line item. So if you want to enter second line item product specification for Dell laptop, what you need to do, you have to click on this to click on go to the next item. So if you, because now it is showing number as one, 10 means 
for the first line item. If you want to go for the second line item, just click on this drop down. And now you can see it is showing the second line item. And here you can enter second line item product specification in details. So that is how you can mention here. So that is how you can maintain all the details and then just click on save. So once you'll click on save, you will be able to see the purchase requisition number which is created here. So you can see now this is the purchase requisition number which is created here and this is the message number. Okay. So this is how you can create the purchase requisition. So as you know, we can change or we have the option to edit the purchase requisition also. So what is the transaction code we are using? We are using the transaction code to edit the purchase requisition is ME52N. So you can try this and you can change your purchase requisition. So if you click on here, you can see the current purchase requisition number and you can see now this is in display mode. So if you want to edit, click on this or go to the transaction code ME52N and you can edit now. Okay. So this is how we can create the purchase requisition. And if you want to edit, you want you can edit anything. Now suppose that you want to edit the quantity, enter and click on save. So you can see the purchase requisition number is same and here it is updated as it has been changed. So this is how we can create the purchase requisition and we can change the purchase requisition. So that is what I wanted to discuss today. So if you have any issues, any doubts, please let me know or just text us so that our team will reach out to you with your answer. Thank you everyone for joining this session.